all right everybody welcome to the stream am i live or not mm, yeah i think we're good we are good Okay, let's see what we need to do today. Output dot check. Okay, let's first compile output check. Okay. Tools check compiler. Okay, we need to compile output test. Test. All right. Am I audible? Okay, I think we're good. Okay, it has compiled. And now let's open up PM emulator. And to trace tools e and emulator. Okay, let's see what we did yesterday. Not yesterday in the last trip. Mm, up test load the program. Yes. We need to turn off animation and make it fast. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so last time we implemented this function print character and today we need to let me check so print character print string and print int okay and print ln and backspace will be trivial so let's start with print string today so what should it do displays the given string starting with the cursor location and advances the cursor appropriately okay i think we can just use print character right so we need to get one character from string and print it using print character yeah that's what we should do okay this is given as a string now how can we access just one character from a string mm. all right <laughs> what did she say hey what's up man What did C said? Or do we print the character? <laughs> Got to go. You just came back. <laughs> you just came. All right. We'll see you then. Print. Print. Sure, 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 man. Sure. I'll see you. Displace the given string starting at the cursor location. Okay, but how do I pass this string? Mm, let me check the API. Uh, yeah, this one. So string in itself is a class character strings wait we still need to create this string class right mm. 
we are at 80th slide so let's go back to yeah we, do, we still need to create the string class where is the freaking cursor All right, then we need to print the string, but okay, the string in itself is a class, right? So what does it look like? And this, in addition for constructing and disposing strings, let me make it bigger. Yeah, much better. So the class features method for getting and setting individual characters of the string for erasing last strings last character for appending a character yeah i think we can use this character at right ah uh, yeah this fu this function is good so we can get the length of the string first and according to the length of the string we can retrieve the characters and print those characters one by one right mm. it will be much easier okay so let's do that wait what return okay yeah returns the current length of the string all right so let's see you know first let's try to Wait, we can't print int yet, so we'll have to do something. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's see. Print string. Let's get the length of the string. So to get the length of the string, we'll create one variable called length, right? and we can do something like this line is equal to s dot okay this will return the length of the string hopefully and we need to loop through the string this number of times length number of times to retrieve the character right so for that we'll need one looping variable and let's call it i let i is equal to zero while come on, while mm, so length is y yeah while i is less than length look through it right is this correct i is less than and yeah okay and what should we do for this number of times we need to retrieve each and every single character so we can call character at hmm. directly do something like this to output output dot print character and to this we can directly pass you know s dot character at i yeah this is much better so yeah will it work let's hope so and after that what should we do yeah i think this will work 
let's try to run it shall we i need to check the testing function first output test mean check okay what do we have here yeah let's uncomment this and see what happens need to compile it again so let's run it now oops 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 oh what happened it's not stopping oh i know why i know why because i'm not even incrementing i i always forget to increment this variable looping variable why is equal to y plus one okay. is this correct nice one two three four okay is this correct let me check the test output so at two zero two is x huh okay at two zero wait it is at two zero not zero zero then why is it printing this doesn't feel right to me it should print the string at two zero right you know what well, let me comment this for a second and see what happens hmm so the cursor is at this position i mean yeah we have given two as x and of course it's going to be at this position yeah this is good not let's test it again load yes zero one two three four five six seven eight nine okay great so i think can say that print string function is working right that was easy let's also take care of print in given that displays the given integer starting at cursor location huh. okay integer excuse me print int hmm. can we call print character just like that i mean integer is a character in it in itself right i don't know let's see so i need to check the documentation see in this course we have the numbers are part of wait but oh yeah so if we if we are given 60 it will print this character not the integer 60 so we need to take care of it okay, let's see what should we do I think we can still use this function print character right mm. yeah we can because numbers are part of this character map in itself 
yeah but what we need to do is to this get correct print character we need to pass this key code all right okay hello sivan how are you man haven't seen you in a long time i've been out of the station as well in three days yeah i'm great as well how's your work going your project oh that's good that's good still this is java yeah it is almost like java but it's not java it is jack language this is the language for which i built the compiler you know so this language is part of this project this course in itself a custom language you can say but yeah it is inspired by java i mean it works exactly like java it is also an object oriented language and Mm, what else yeah it works just like java in that it, the code it has a vm code intermediate vm code just like java has byte code but it's not a very functional language <laughs> we can't use it for i mean we can but you know the error messages and the logs are not that much efficient it will be a nightmare to write a very big project in this language. And right now I'm working on this library to create, to print characters and such things. I mean, a font library. So I'm trying to figure out how to print an integer to this one. Building a flask if the uses your questionnaire from Google Sheets makes it look nicer. Oh great! Yeah, I think I saw your app last time when I was on your stream. You were building that, right? Yeah. Questionnaire sounds nice. Wasn't Django R, ah, so you switched to Flask. Oh, so at that time also you were going to switch from I think function based to class based, right? Am I right? So you jump skip again. Yeah, it beat easier. Yeah. I've heard it many times. Flask is easier. So, are you going to go back to Django? I mean, or are you going to stick with Flask now? Because I'm going to dive into backend development as well. Flask is a bit minimalistic. Yeah, I know. Depends on what you need to do. Yeah, I mean, if we want a, you know, a fast, quick, and easy, and dirty API, Flask seems like a good option. Maybe for bigger projects that needs to scale, we should use Django, I guess, right? I mean, I, I don't have any experience, but yeah, I'm going to learn it, you know, just after this course, because I need to build my portfolio according to backend development skills. Fast API, yeah, I heard about it. I mean, it sounds good as well, but I don't know but uh, yeah I mean, if you want to try it it's good but for right now in the industry there are not many job postings for fast api developers but uh, as the name says it's going to be faster so what the hell i mean python is you know a bit slower so it's good to use a faster api i mean there are numerous APR uh, numerous frameworks for backend by low and so What's that? Mm, 
what do you mean by that i mean in terms of framework pilo well hmm but how does it relate to frameworks bio i mean you can start learning yeah 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 you are right you are right yeah i was going to say that there comes high demand you can say the same thing about go language as well so i think go language is kind of in that phase right now it is in high demand that is already popular yeah right i mean you are right but you know in case of languages and frameworks the thing is the industry moves very slowly because you know they have legacy code to uh, come to patch so it's like gambling yeah i mean if you go through you know job postings there are still many jobs for php developers so there you go sometimes most of the industry sticks with uh, what's been tried and you know tested so it takes a lot of time for new frameworks to gain some momentum yeah and it's not that you know all the people the industry favors the faster and quicker solution the industry favors what is already being you know circulated in the industry so uh, i mean in case of java as well java is a yeah i mean look at the java language as well it's not very good right there are many better languages than java but still it is like the industry standard and you will find a lot of jobs for java because industry i mean most of the old industry they stick with the old legacy code it it gives mm. so i think the approach or the strategy should be that we should learn what is already being used in the industry and then as the as an another option we should try other thing which is not currently being used so i mean it in case of languages we can say like uh, you learn python because python is like the industry standard like there are many jobs but also learn go because go is going to be big i mean it is in the phase right now so that should be the approach i guess that's why i'm sticking to python you know significant mm, by the way you you seem to have good projects on your portfolio why don't you start applying I mean, you have. I think you have two projects, right, for backend development. Mm, started applying, but getting rejected. Huh? i mean still they must be giving some feedback to you right like why they are rejecting is it because of experience or maybe they want something different from you i mean what is the case oh yeah i i heard about it like uh, only yesterday i was watching one video and they said that uh, 
now the companies are using some software to short or to you know filter all the cvs so maybe they are looking for some specific things let me let me send you that video i think it will be helpful to you as well mm -hmm. realistic this one maybe give it a watch when you're free yeah welcome I have been doing some class of code as well off stream because I think I should work on my coding skills as well coding in the sense like solving puzzles programming puzzles because I suck at time based solving you know my mind goes poof when the timer is on It will be helpful in the interview process, I guess. Print. Hmm. Yeah. Data. what if I convert this integer into a string no print int okay so suppose we are given let's say you know 65 and we need to call print character right so integer is 65 i need to call print character twice one for six the key code of the six and second for the with the key code of five so let's see the key code of six will be zero one two three four five six so 48 49 50 50 52 53 54 yeah 54 and 53 we should call print character with this two key codes uh, okay but the challenge is how to get this key code so to get the key code i need to get these two integers first i need to get six and then five. Oh yeah i think there is something i can do how to get this letter and this letter what if i divide it by 10 no it's not a good approach and i need to print it from the right to the left so what should i do mm. 
is there any function given that I can use if I could convert this integer into a string it would be helpful but I don't think I can no I can't so I might have to find a different approach how to get individual numbers from an integer let me search it up how to get the, you know, how to get digits from an integer yeah, let's search it up. Extract digits from a given integer. Yeah, we can use this. Is there a simple algorithm like this? Sounds complicated. Uh, what are they doing here? i1 counter 0 scanner okay so we scan an integer into this s no this n right and m is equal to n so m is kind of a temporary variable while n is greater than 0 okay what should we do we keep on dividing it oh yeah this sounds good this sounds good 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 So this loop is for counting the digits, the number of digits, I guess. Uh, yeah, and m is equal to m greater than zero. We get the modulo. Huh? Why the modulo? Oh yeah, the modulo operator gives us the value. Yeah, let's try to code it up. I need a temporary variable, I guess. Right, so let's create a temporary variable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, variable int m let m is equal to i give me a second All right, sorry for the interruption. Okay, where was I? Yeah, m is equal to, uh, okay, while m is greater than zero, right? m modulo 10 okay but we don't have a modulo operator so for that we'll need to use let me check uh, where did i write the modulo operation maybe i used it somewhere here i don't know 
I use the formula. I think this is the one. Yeah, it is this one to get the modulo. Right. So let's copy this. All right, and instead of character X, wait up, why is this not working? What the hell happened? Why can't I move? Okay working mm. okay this should be m and m modulo 10 not 16 so we should have 10 here same here m 10 okay this will give us m modulo 10 and it will give us the number integer right individual integer Okay, let's save it in another intermediate variable. So let's call it a let a equal to right. Okay, wait, but uh, it's going to extract. I don't know. It's going to give us the uh, digits from reverse order, I guess. Am I right? Yeah, it will give us the last digit, this digit. What should we do in that case? Maybe no, it won't work. What if we convert this integer into a string? Huh. This might work, right? If we convert this integer into a string and then call print string, maybe it will work. That's the only option, I guess, we can think of. Let's see, variable string has. Mm, I need to create a string. How can I create a string? I have no really used string before, so let's see. String no. Next length. Shit, I need to give the length as well. But we don't really have a length, or do we? Yeah, we do have. So our architecture is 16 bit. All right, so how many digits can it hold? Let's see. Uh, we might even get negative integer as well, right? Hmm. Let's worry about it later. First, let's see how many digits it can have. Okay. 
7 plus get this 8 plus 8 is 16 2 raised to 4 okay 2 raised to 4 is 16 so 2 raised to 16 is 2 raised to 16 Six five five three six, right? So the maximum number of digits it can hold is this much. Six. Yeah, let's give it six as the length, or maybe let's give it seven. It doesn't matter. Let's give seven. Let s equal to string dot new a string length of seven okay now we can use this string uh, fuck. Oh wait, we do have a function that we can use. This one set int sets this string to hold a representation of the given value. Okay, maybe we can directly use this function set int. That's good. This good. It will make our work much more easier. So let me comment to this for now and we'll see how we can use it set end we'll still need this string so do s dot set end and i Hmm. And what if I call dot no not this one do output dot print string mm, print string what yes string right mm, okay I think this will work let's see mm. Where is print int print? Let's try this as well as this. Okay, nothing really happened because Huh. Try to access memory outside the heap or screen. What? What is the issue? Oh, maybe it is because I have not created the string. I've just done the in, in the assignment. So I need to create a string first, right? Right, yeah, so Okay, maybe now it will work. Let's see. nice 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 is it working okay. one minus one two three four five and six seven eight nine great it is working it is working and now i found out this function setting or else i would have tried to reinvent the wheel even though i still need to create the implementation for this 
function in the string module so that's that let me delete this don't need it anymore this as well great and the final two function print ln and backspace so print ln should advance a cursor to the beginning of the next line okay so how do i get the beginning of the next line so the cursor is at zero zero I first need to fetch the current location of the cursor. So if it is zero zero, it should be at zero. Mm. Next line is at. Yeah, I just need to in increment y, right? Yeah just need to increment y and make x is equal to zero okay i need to increment y by let's see According to this, if x is 0, 0, the current position of cursor should be, the next position should be this. So what is the location of this? x is 0, but y is, mm, there are 11 pixels. So I think we should increment it by 11 pixel Y. Let's see if it works or not. So all I need to do is let X is equal to zero. And let y is equal to y plus 11 okay is that it okay let's see if this works or not nice nice it worked wait but uh, we still need to get rid of this cursor okay i need i see you can't just do this you can just call do output dot move cursor and i position will be text position will be zero and y will be y plus 11 this is for what we should do okay nice it is working it is working let's also in implement backspace move the cursor one column back yeah so it will be similar to this so i x x will remain x and y will be no wait we need to decrement x by i don't know x uh, minus 
this is eight characters wide right so we should do x minus eight maybe and this will remain as it is i will remain as it is right i think let's see if this works or not let me first delete this okay i think it worked so after one two three four and five printing five we call backspace so it deleted five and instead of that it printed six seven eight nine okay it did work yeah it did work okay while we are at it let's recommend this thing as well and i think we have implemented all the output function let's test it okay great 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 so it was printed this then in the next line it printed a b c d up to z right? and in the next line it printed this character Oh, okay, the characters are good. Good, uh, good. Wait up, wait up, wait up, wait a minute. What about this? After tilde, we have this character. What is this? Hmm. Oh yeah, print string. What is S? Double code. Okay, yeah, so this is fine. And in the next line we print minus one, two, three, four, five. We call backspace six seven eight nine. Great. And with that we can conclude that the output module is done. Mostly yes next let me check so in the output model we needed to create more cursor that we did print character print string printing print align and backspace okay all done okay so let's close this file and let's also close this test file mm, let me commit to the repo and after that we'll start with another module all right it up it is AOS output module all all functions done tested and working all right done so let's continue doing another project and then now after our output we need to do check Mm, keyboard module yeah so let's open it up keyboard dot check 
Okay, let's see what we need to do. We need to create four functions key pressed, read character, read line, and read end. Mm, okay, so the keyboard key value will be at this address 24576. It will have the scan code of the character right, on the key. When a key is pressed on the keyboard, the keyboard register is set to the key scan code. When no key is pressed, the register is set to zero. Okay, good. So for key pressed function, what should we do? Return the ASCII code as character of the currently pressed key or zero if no key is felt pressed. If a key is pressed, key skin code or else zero. Hmm. Let's implement key pressed. I need to call memory dot p right and we should be picking at this address two four five seven six two four five seven six this will give us the value of the scan code so to store the scan code we can Wait. Mm, yeah, for now, let's save it. Then forward. Should be an integer. Let scan code okay so we saved it in the scan code variable now what We need to return the character, right? Wait, but, uh, what if I return when any of these keys are pressed? For new line backspace, what should I return? I mean, it says here that I should return the character. Wait, what if I just return this? Hmm? The memory address might work. I don't know. Let's see. So I can just do it right down, right? Hmm. 
Yeah, it will work. It will definitely work. Okay, how do we test this? Vim keyboard test. Okay, we have a GIF file, so let me try to open it up. Okay, this is the GIF file. Um, it's a bit small. Oh, we have different test. This test is for key press. This test is for the character. Okay, so what if I try to run it directly? Let's see. Mm, not this one. Keyboard test. Just compile it, please. And let's try to run it and see what happens. Press the page down key. Okay, I pressed it. Great. Press number Okay, let's uh, do minus three, two, one, two, three. How can it run successfully? Oh, of course, of course, of course, it runs successfully. I have not created the symbolic link. Yet. What the hell? Okay, we got the symbolic link now. What? Try to return. Hmm. Oh. Did it work or not? Oh yeah, we need function. I need to write return here as well. A non-void function must return a value. But come on. Return one. Fine. Is it all right now? 
and it compiled so let's try to write it now press page down oh what happened stack overflow in memory look yeah you know what let me we don't need to test read character right now comment this thing up to this point i guess Fine. Okay, let's run it again. Oh, okay, so it worked, I guess. It printed okay. So it worked. Okay, let's see what we need to do now. Read character. Let's select this. Okay, for read character, wait until a key is pressed and released. It goes the key on the screen and advances the cursor returns the key is character value huh. what Okay, it says uh, that I should display the cursor first. What does that mean? Do I have to call home cursor? Yeah, so you know, you can directly use this. This will work just fine for our purpose. Oops, of course, I need to open it up. Yeah. What should I open? Keyboard test. Mean. Yeah. Wait, no, not this one. Keyboard test. Main dot check. Open. Read only. Q 
cut Let's get this variables now where in key what else do we need C. so while key is equal to zero okay initially it should be zero let key equal to zero Okay, we don't need this print island. Uh, yeah, let's keep it there. Display C at the current cursor location. Right, so I should call print character, right? Print character. And I need to pass C. Advance the cursor. Yeah, I mean, it will advance the cursor anyway. Um, we don't need this return C okay let's see if this works or not um, let's uncomment this up to 7 16 nice Let's see what test page down the read character test press the number 3 oh it displayed three on the screen it is working right Wait, but shouldn't it display the cursor as well? Hmm? Yes, it should. Isn't it? It should display the cursor. Why is it not displaying the cursor? No, oh, fuck it. It's working. So, what the hell? And now read line. So displace the message on the screen. Displace the message on the screen. Gets the next line until a new line correct. is about to create character if new line and display new line return soon oh nice okay i got it so first i will need a string variable string yes. and this string has to be empty initially um, first i need to call string dot new isn't it what should be the length of the string okay so this is complicated now
okay so this string should hold only a one line worth of character right so i mean so according to this uh, was it the frame includes no not this one now uh, this one 23 rows of 64 characters so it can only hold 64 one line can hold only 64 characters right hmm. so let's give 65 as the line yeah better And after that, we should repeat a loop. So when a new line occurs, it should display the new line return str. Then what's up with this str? Okay, so what if new line character never occurs? Okay, yeah, so this should, but uh, it should be repeat. Okay, we need a variable to hold characters, right? So, where in C. Okay, I should call let C equal to keyboard dot read character. Next.
I think it should do it uh, 65 number of times. Yeah, I think that is the case. So let i is equal to 65. Yeah, it should be 0, not 65. So while i is less than 65 to this right we read your character and we need to check now if c is new line so if c is new line how can we check if c is new line the new line is 128 the scan code New line is 128, right? So you can check if C equal to 128. If it is, then display new line. Right. What do they mean by display new lines? Oh yeah, I think we need to call to output dot print talent. I guess. Hmm. And we should also return the string. So if it calls it on yes. Do we have else? Yeah, I think we have else. if c c equal to backspace so for backspace the stand is 129 let me recheck yeah it is 129 so if it is backspace then remove the last character from the string so i need to call Mm, let's see character as erase last character as do as dot erase last character right and after that do output dot backspace do output dot x space else we should just append string okay right so
let s equal to s dot append character c right return s I think this will work let's test it H down, okay. Press three. Read line test. Verify echo and usage of X space. Okay, what should I do? But Okay, so this that can't find backspace. What is the issue? Backspace should be in output. So output. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the S is capital. Okay, let's see if it works now. Okay, why can't it print this? Huh. This is weird. Something is not right. No, it's not working. It erases two characters. So definitely, it's not working. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, what? What is happening? Is there an issue with the backspace or? I don't get it. tested it out didn't I? it was working just fine x minus eight yeah it should work then uh, what the hell
something is not right. I always forget, I always forget to <sighs> let i is equal to one, but that's not the issue here, right? That can be the issue, maybe that is the issue. No, no, let's test it. Oh, so it's not doing this red line. Wait, red line takes an input, a message. Oh, okay, so that's why it is not printing it. Wait, I can do this. I can call dot output dot print string, isn't it? Okay, let's see. So please type check and press enter. J A C K. Okay, it deletes two characters. Why? Deletes two characters. What is happening? Okay, I think I might have an idea why is this the case. Yeah, I think it is because when I call read character, it takes the scan code of backspace key as well, right? And it prints that character. But wait, how can it print the backspace character? What happens when it tries to print the backspace character? Let's see. Print character. We'll print C equal to zero and C equal to zero is.
This is an issue. Fuck. Wait, but I don't think it is this module is using our built-in implement. It must be using a built-in implementation. I don't know. Yeah, most probably it is using the built-in implementation of uh, output class, right? So in that case, it should but at least it should display the cursor, isn't it? What the hell is it? What the hell is up with it? Why can't we see a cursor like not working? And why is it printing the capital letters, not the small letters? Okay, so this is an issue. Why can't it detect in small letters? What is the issue? Key pressed. Yeah. Key press. It should return the correct scan code, isn't it? Then what is the freaking issue? Oh. We do have the luxury of using output dot print and right. So let's do that. Two four seven six five. will probably mess it up uh, it's not a, okay. oops
Why outside of range? Yeah, it is five seven six. Five seven six. <laughs> of course, of course. equal to zero if it is not equal to zero then do printing or else don't do it you understand you strip it in the later Oops, oops. Okay, yeah, I think I can test it this way. Let's see. Seven one G. Okay, seven one. Five six five six. What? Yeah, six five. It's not five six. It is six five. Capital A. But I pressed small a, not capital A. What happens if I press capital A? Same. So it's not reading the correct. Small station. Yeah, let's pick into the memory unit directly. Two, four, five, seven. Huh. There's nothing here. Of course, of course, there's nothing. We need to press something. But well, we can't see the value changing in the register in real time. That's an issue. But still we can clearly see that the numbers which are printed, the alphabets which are printed are all capital. So what the hell is happening? That must be an issue with the emulator, not ours, right? It's not scanning the correct code. This one. 
this is so shitty. What should I do now? What if I don't do output backspace here? Maybe it will still work. Okay, it is still working as it should be. Right? Yeah. Good. Good, good, good. It even printed the new line when I pressed enter. So that must be correct, right? Still, so it is working, but uh, I don't really have a good feeling about it because first, it's not printing lowercase letter. I don't see why that should be the case. But I'm not even handling the scan codes. So I'm just uh, reading the scan codes from the memory and printing it, right? So I'm just calling print character. Maybe the emulator is not working. I don't know. I don't know. 
what if print character is not working hmm. that might be the case right no but uh, see I'm just getting the map like this we pass C and we call get map so on the get map if C is greater than 126 so if C is between 32 and 126 so yeah for this letter so it should do this i don't see why that's not happening you see this is crazy And I don't even know this read character function, the read line function is correct or not. Mm, so one thing, it should display the string first. So that's correct. And it should, and we are looping over it for 65 times. What if we are at the end of the screen? Okay, this logic is not correct, I think. While i is less than 65. But then the issue is how how much should be the length of the string? Maybe it should be as long as the characters that we can display on the screen. 23 rows of 63 characters no, that's a lot of memory use
Google it. Get string. Is it get string or get line? No, read line. Read line. And that is. Yeah, what should max length? That's exactly what my question is. Okay, makes sense. Mm, let's see. I have... I didn't match anything I searched on the net according to. Hmm, what? Okay, should this characters also echo the effect on the screen? Does echo mean printing the characters? Hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what my question is. Uh, so what should those character from 134 do? Uh, display cursor. Hmm. What would you do just knowing that the current contents of the keyboard buffer is 129? If you didn't need the backspace function, wouldn't the same reasoning apply to 120? Yeah, don't need the new line function exactly. What are they talking about? So the issue with this forum is, I don't know if who is asking the question and who's answering. It seems everyone is just confused. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, and the issue is returns the character of the currently pressed, create no current. Hmm. 
this returns it recognizes all ascii characters yeah so if any of these keys are pressed what should happen oh we can do to solve this length issue is you know let's create a new string in init let string 
um, let's call it block four, and this block four string, block four, wait, it should be let block four equal to string dot new to fifty. So let's skip. 250 as the length of this buffer right and what we can do is Maybe I have it like 80. And let us append it to Buffer. This should be buffer as well. Right. And here as well, we should return buffer. But while um, true. Oops. It should keep on running, okay, but they keep track of the length. Right, so check the API length returns the current length of this way. Okay, so I don't know. I mean, if we create a string and we call length, what should it return? Does it return the I think for that I need to open up the string I am inside string am I not no 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 we are inside keyboard we are not inside string so let's open up string string jack yeah yeah string jack returns the current length of the string <coughs> yeah let's assume that this returns the current length so before doing anything we'll check if uh, buffer dot length um, 
okay is buffer dot length equal to eighty right so that means the buffer is full in that case we should do buffer first copy the content of the buffer how do we copy the content of the buffer We need a temporary buffer. So let's get a temporary buffer. Temp. And this temporary buffer let temp equal to spring dot new it will be buffer dot length plus 80 better I don't know. Is this the correct way? Amp contains the base address of the string, right? It doesn't contain. So if I need to copy the content from the older string, what do I need to do? I need to loop over the character. It will be a consuming task, isn't it? Yeah, I think. 
it's all right i mean right so to copy the content of the old string what we can do is call set get get character at and open character yeah we can use this i variable while i is less than the current length of the buffer I is less than length of buffer to call buffer dot character at uh, I and it runs the character so we should append this character to this new temp right? temp dot and character right let temp equal to temp Or after that, after it is done appending, we need to dispose the buffer, right? So we can. Buffer dot dispose, and after that, we can right. this might work if the character length is greater than eighty. We call new string dot new buffer dot length plus eighty. This is the new buffer, and in that buffer we append the characters. And after that, we dispose the previous buffer and get the new buffer. So that was from time. Right.
it again. So the output object for characters. So we have character map for um, thirty two or two. I'll be back. I'll be back. I gotta be.
sorry for that <laughs> thanks for popping up on my stream or i would have gone on talking and talking on mute <laughs> lol Yeah, I, I cleared it up. Dude, you saved me. <laughs> you literally saved me. You know, if you wouldn't have popped up right now, I would have kept on going. <laughs> Damn. You are a lifesaver. <laughs> So, how was your stream, man? Right, so the solution is working, but there's still something missing. I don't know what. Yeah, fuck it. Let's implement red int now. So, what should red int do? Displace the message on the screen, reads from the keyboard, the entire text until a new line character is detected. Wait a minute. read characters digits and build the integer well huh okay uh, how are we going to do that Prints the message on the screen, okay. That's clear. Reads the next line until makes the next line from the key. Until the first non numeric character. Can we still use this logic? Yeah, I think we can. So let's just copy it. Copy up to this point. Okay, we still need to print the message so this is good 
and read the character so this is over right as well let's see is equal to read character but after that um, we don't need to create a buffer in this case right so this is not valid anymore and if c is equal to 128 which is the new line character we do output dot print align and we return integer so in this case i don't know let's well, let's call it power issues that's bad that's really bad so what did it did the electricity go off midstream c is equal to 129 do buffer dot erase last bit. planning to rate you oh my bad <laughs> good stream today uh good stream as in how three hours plus two days oh so you get got rated twice that's really great man three hours plus two rates that's really nice You are on fire today. That's great. Recursion in JS. Oh, great. Yeah, recursion is a tricky topic. Too bad I wasn't there to watch you stream today. Sorry about that. But it seems really nice. Cheers, man. Cheers. How are you now? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, all okay. Not a big deal, you know. It was an after funeral, so it's all right. Yeah, close. I mean, he was my mother's uncle. But he was aged, I mean. And he succumbed to that because of COVID. Yeah, rest in peace. Thanks. By the way, I ordered the mic, that one that I showed you earlier. I ordered this one. Let me show you. This one, yeah, Mauno, A004. I just purchased it today, so it will arrive maybe two or within two or three days. Fuck, it is 4619. So I when I bought it, it was for 3999. Thank God I bought it earlier. So it increased the price, increased up to up like 600 rupees. Fuck. Thank God I bought it earlier. link yeah wait here you go 
and I had to order a USB hub as well because all of the ports of my laptop are kind of engaged so I wouldn't be able to plug it in so I bought a USB hub as well so that to increase the ports okay for me in flash shell yeah I mean the price fluctuates a lot I mean if lightning deal yeah it was a lightning deal it was definitely a lightning deal so I think it is a lightning deal for you as well right yeah which hub um, let me find it out This one, Zebronix. And I bought this Bluetooth on ear headphones for my brother. this hub it's not 3.0 but uh, it's all right i mean 2.0 will work as well not a big deal i only have one 3.0 in my laptop so it's all right and i don't re usually transfer a lot of data i'm using it for plugging the mouse and keyboard so this will work just fine yeah <laughs> yeah you do you do let me check out your stream you know how it was like tell me the time at which the raid happened Data, 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 data. Play it like heck. Holy shit, that's great, man. Yeah, there were a lot of people. Two freaking raids, that's great. That is great. Who raided you, by the way? Halifax. Oh, nice, nice, nice.
خوب great going man congratulation again all right so give me a second only only one red you say two reds you mean the last raid that happened while i was on your stream you mean that raid as well i mean it's really nice you got raided twice within a week people really like you <laughs> Read it. <laughs> it's this, but you should also get uh, at least get the microphone right. At least get the earphone working, okay? Because it will be better for you. I mean, when a lot of people come on your stream, it's very hard to just chat on the chat with them. So. What happened with your mic then? You tried to hack it up. Did it work or not? 3.5 mm jack is not working. Oh, then maybe get a get a splitter like I have. Uh, wait, let me show you. But uh, maybe it won't work as well. Jack. I don't know. So maybe get a splitter like this it's a sound card so this is a usb you can plug this usb and you can plug your mic and your phone so this will be better if your hardware sound card doesn't work it, this one has a, an inbuilt sound card so probably this will help you but mostly it will be software issues i guess because ubuntu the sound drivers in ubuntu soft man you have to ha hack a lot of things to make it to work how do you get to chat okay. what do you mean by that how do you get to chat okay what do you mean chat chat overlay oh okay yeah so you are also using this restream.io platform right you're using restream.io yeah so what you can do is uh, let me check So you need to open up this, first you need to, wait, you need to download this, this uh, application, this software. Can you see this one, Restream. So you can download and see, Restream. Products, chat. You can get it for Linux. So get this one. Okay, it is an app image. So open it up and in the settings you have uh, an option to do embedded embedding in the stream. And you can copy that code. I can't show you right now on the stream, but uh, in the settings there will be an option. Just download this uh, software first and I will walk you through it. See, I have turned off the overlay right now, but uh, let me turn it on. See, can you see it now? So, I turned it off again. Ah, great. 
ओके द लिंक राइट अप राइट अप Here you go, direct link to a download. This will download the beta app image directly. And you can open it up like this, restream. Open it up from the command line. So right now I have uh, kept an alias for this, but you can just run the app image directly. Just, just Google how to run app image in ubuntu you just need to do this so let me show you dot slash uh, i have it inside this so you can just do this and it will open up the open up this box and you don't need you don't even need to embed the embed it inside the stream you can just keep it like this and it will be just all right Right. Just keep it like this in the corner. Right, so where was I? Yeah, uh, read int. So I was saying for read int, read characters and read the integer value. So while true, read character if c is equal to 128, then we do print ln and return the value. Right. We should change this as well. But if the character is not 128, if 129 is the character, then let's first figure out how to convert the characters into an integer. How do we get the integer value? Do we have function in the string class that will provide that functionality? Int value, yeah. Not this one. You use three point five mm earphone as a mic. Yeah, three point five mm earphone.
Sun. Uh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Because it is a Samsung one. Samsung earphones. So maybe they are good. You are the second person to say that thing. Yeah, maybe the mics of Samsung are Samsung earphones are good. You watch your video? No, not usually. I don't re-watch my videos. To be honest, I don't really like my voice. So I don't watch my videos. It's weird to watch my own videos. I feel weird. <laughs> That's why I don't watch it. Take yourself. Uh, okay. Let me try it out. No, you won't be able to hear it, so it's all right. Uh, yeah, it's good, but there is some, you know, after I utter a word, there is something at the end of the word. I don't know, a click sound, like a click sound. Yeah, it's because of the settings that I have in my OBS. OBS. So I have some filters, so maybe it's because of those filters, the voice sounds good. So for the noise suppression, I have this RNN and compressor these are the settings for my compressor gain and limiter so i know what suppressor do but uh, i don't really know what compressor gain and limiter does so i just watched a video and they told me to do this so i did that and it sounds good so all right no audio mixer and sources uh, i don't know what you are talking about what kind of audio mixer yeah but i have a source i have created a, an alternate source let me show you what i mean so no not this one so the mic, the voice in the mic is directly coming from the microphone itself. So that's that. But for audio capture, I have this uh, other null output created. So I have created a simultaneous output to built in audio as well as this null output. So what happens is I, if I play a video on my laptop, I can hear it on my earphone as well as I can record that sound in OBS as well. So for that, I have created this null output. So I record the audio from this null output and listen to that same audio from this built-in analog studio. And the voice from that particular video will be going to this simultaneous output. So it's like uh, splitting the voice into two channels one for recording in the OBS and another for my earphones. But other than that, I don't really have other settings done for audio. 
maybe i can show you the settings so these are the settings of the audio that's just it Yeah, I did something, I don't know when, I have OBS installed since a long time, so I played around it, played around with it a lot. OBS have taken my audio settings. You know, what I think, probably your issue is not the hardware itself, but it must be an OBS issue, not OBS, but sound card issue mostly. I can't record stream my voice. Yeah, I mean, when we tried to do it earlier, it was so the Ubuntu was able to hear your voice, right? We got that, you know, waves. So that means it was able to record your voice. But somehow the OBS or the other sources are not picking up that particular voice. Maybe you need this application. So I use this. It might be already installed in your system. Yeah, it is definitely. I mean, not everything, but uh, the sound cards. Sound card issue is definitely a pain in the ass in the Linux. I have this volume control. Oh, I can change you know the output recording device so if I want to uh, let's see what I want to do if I want this OBS to capture the audio I can just uh, select this monitor source of simultaneous and see if I change this from built-in audio to monitor Okay, now you might be able to hear my voice. Just that. Yeah, I know. I changed the change this settings. That's why. Maybe you can do something in this application. A better work. You might be already having this application mostly. Uh, let's call this pulse pulse audio volume control check if you have it or not you probably have an also mixer or something installing yeah install it install it it's all right but uh, you might mess up your audio drivers you know because this is kind of an audio driver pulse audio like in windows yeah, we have those real tech drivers oh so this is just like that but what else can you do just mess around with it you know that's how you will learn a thing or two about sound cards just try messing around with it Read int. Okay. I need to get the integer value of the character. How can I get it? Commands. No, we don't have any commands. What commands? Oh yeah, those commands. Of course. 
I love those commands. <laughs> I love terminal. And if you want to get good at Linux, you should also start loving it. command line and github github yeah exactly get and github i mean for git git you don't need to know that many commands i mean usually i only use like three or four commands like git add git commit git push git status and sometimes i use branch commands check out and so on when i'm working with a complex application but other than that yeah, if I'm working with someone else, I might have to use pull command as well, git pull to pull the new update that others posted. But other than that, which we don't need to know that many commands. Everything else can be just Google. Like if you want to delete something from the remote repo or something, you just Google it up how to do that. returns the integer value of the string until a non-digit character is detected what do they mean by integer value still to create the string we need the integer value right maybe we can create a map which maps to the value like uh, let's see let's see let's see for zero the value is 48 or so maybe we can create a dictionary or something okay in jack we don't have dictionary but Mm, we can create a two-dimensional array no wait no 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 we can just have a 1d array so 0 to 9 will be indexes no not cut what I can do ah huh, yeah of course so to get the value I can do let value equal to C minus 48 So if the character is 48, C is 48, then C 48 minus 48 will be 0 installed. Wait. Uh, yeah, try to run it now. And see what happens. First, uh, you know, you should just... Let me try to Google it for you. How to install... Up. Pulse audio in Ubuntu.
see you can so pulse audio can combine sounds from multiple sources so i think this is what you will need pulse audio you can just install it and run i guess you can install it using this sub uh, okay Also install this one. So after installing Pulse Audio, calling sub uh, sudo apt install Pulse or Pulse Audio and also install Power Control, Pulse Audio Volume Control. You will need this one. So this is exactly what this is. This is Power Control. So you will need it to get this interface. You need to do this sudo. Now can solve out. I think it will work for you. I mean, after you are done with this setting. Yeah. Try playing around with it and see if OBS picks up the audio or not. We can like this well is equal to zero. I don't know. Well into ten plus. Well is equal to well into 10. So initially this will be 0. So 0. Right? Let's say if it is 1. And it will be 1. After that we type 2. So. 1 into 10 is 10. Plus two, great, twelve, mm, and three. Twelve into twenty is one twenty. Okay, so this will work. This will work. Great, great, great. But we need to make sure that C is between forty-eight and fifty-seven, including forty-eight and fifty-seven, right? And according to the specifications, uh, print the message on the screen, reads the next line until the new line character from the keyboard and returns its DJ value until the first non numeric character.
on numeric character okay So what we can do is inside here we can again check if C is less greater than 48 or and C is less than 57. Forty-seven and less than fifty-eight. In this case, we should do this. Else, we will return. Well. Right. Oh wait, we don't need this, do we? Okay, wait. But what did I do earlier? Yeah, we don't need this. Ah, what the hell? See, I was not even incrementing I. Then how did it work? What? That means it didn't work. Let I is equal to I plus one. Hmm. And after this, again, we should initialize i to 0. OK, so this is not a right condition. Buffer length equal to 80. I don't know what the hell. This is crazy.
Okay, first of all, I don't even know how this length function works. <laughs> mm, we should have another variable that take Buff land right and initially it will be buff land equal to 80. Let's have it here and choose buff land like this, right? So now in the read string read line if buffer dot length equal to mm, buff length then do buff length right Okay, let's test if this works or not before we continue doing the variant function. Okay, in one forty two, of course. Hi, it This is it is fine. It is just fine. What is the issue? I have enough braces. I had a mango. What's that? Mango, you mean mango? Yeah, I had. I had mango juice as well today. Just today. So I try and command mango juice. I like mangoes a lot. Who hates mangoes? <laughs> Nobody hates mangoes, right? <laughs> Oh, it's because of this and wow. Tamita, do now I'm feeling hungry. I'm feeling hungry. So did it work? The audio control thing. No. Okay, yeah, maybe I will help you later on. After I'm done with the stream, we'll try to make it to work. Okay. Try to copy this kind of controls. Let me show you. So also open up your OBS and just select mic from built-in audio right and that will be the recording device for output uh, i don't know for output that's good but for input also select the microphone not the internal one the external one from my earphone so you must see this kind of views 
like when I speak there are waves and there should be waves here as well try to do that and check if uh, the profile is set to analog stereo duplex it should be okay what the fuck oh, the string is food how can it get food it can't get food like that don't don't man don't give up like that it will work mostly software issue for sure try to figure it out just just you know just google around and mess with it it will work that's what happened with me as well i was not able to make it to work it's just i just kept at it for one or two days yeah it was frustrating but you know, you should suffer a bit it will help you with programming as well hmm? <laughs> Proper length is equal to full length. Okay, you know what? Let me try to print buffer length. Do output dot print int buffer dot and let's see what happens it what zero one two three four okay this is nice eleven sixteen Sixty-two, sixty-six, sixty-nine, seventy-one. Goes up to I don't know. Okay, it went up to hundred and sixty, and the string is full. Maybe we ran out of heap space. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. the error is error 17 so let me check the error codes error codes is in high level language wait where are the error codes Seventeen during this four. Oh, okay.
I don't get it. It stopped at 160Y. What happened? Let's see. string is full so either it is this one or it is this one so i don't know which one is giving us the error i mean none of this post should give that error because we what we are doing is you know we are checking the buffer length and if the buffer length is 80 you know let's do this when the buffer length is it is less than buffer land. Maybe it will work. Let's see what happens. test yes it should stop working right about now yeah What happened? What happened? Eighty plus. Wait a minute. Eighty to the hundred and sixty, right? So it allocates the temp twice oh i see what happened i see what happened no i don't know oh i'm not changing the buffer length yet so after we are done with this we should do let 
plan okay what should be yeah it should be two into buff line right so two into buff line and we don't need this okay, it should just go up fine now let's see it should just keep on going and going let's see Yeah, it kept on going. Wait, it's not stopping at all. So solution is working. Nice, nice. Great, 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 great. All right then, back to read integer. But, 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 why did we switch back to this? Yeah, because of buff length, I guess. I don't know. for it so for getting the integer value while true keyboard character if c is equal to 128 we do print ln uh, new line and return the value right. if else if c is equal to 129 we do buffer dot erase last character Wait, do we need buffer? Nah. Else, if C is greater than 47 and less than 48, we should do L is equal to well. Okay, this will give us the value, integer value, right? Return value. But let's see if uh, we press back backspace, which is this character. What should happen in that case? Mm. We should delete the last type integer right so if it was 12 it should be now 1 so you can do just do division isn't it divide by 12 divide by 10 yeah that's what we should do. Let well equal to well divide by ten. Right. Good. This should just work fine. Don't need this I or uh, this. Okay, let's try to test it. Uh, 
Okay, first of all, um, uh, wait, uh, what did I wrote the log? Uh, it was this one. Page down, P, J, A, C, K. Okay, read in test. Please type minus. Oh, what is happening? Oh, I can't type minus, it seems. It's not good. Yeah, so we need to handle minus now. Let's handle it. What is the value for minus character? Is it forty five? Okay. So in the read int forty five what should be the value of four minus what if i is minus so we should append minus equal to 45 and If C equal to forty five, then Negate it, right? Maybe this might work. Ah. Come on, man. What?
What? It's not working? Oh yeah, this should be all. Oh. It did not work. Why? Do output dot print end. Now, okay, let's see what is the value of i. Right? Do output dot print. Ellen. Just printed three. Ah, it's because of the negative value. Oh, I see. And what if I do three, two, one, two, three? Ah. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. Zero. Yeah, of course. I don't even have an else case. What the hell? What was I expecting? Test it. Minus three, two, one, two, three. Okay, we got four, four, three. That's not right. Four, four, three. That's good. That's not right. You know what we can do? If c is equal to, let's have a boolean variable where boolean, right, it should be boolean neg. So let's make equal to uh, and initially the value of 
should be false. Right, so let's now do this. This just works. And what I can do is just you know, check if neg. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. If neg equal to true then we return this else we return right I think there must be a better way to return negative value. Yeah, I guess this works. Let's try it out. Hmm, it worked. Okay, but how about a positive value? Yeah, it works for the positive value as well. Right, so I think with that we can no we can't conclude it yet because there's still one thing that's fucking up so when we try to let's see it's down key three so when i enter an incorrect value and press enter and then try to do check it doesn't work why
Okay, so only one way to find out. Let's do output. But it runs a string, right? So string. Right. Oh yeah, so what is happening is it is appending the new string to the previous string. So that's the issue. When I call keyboard dot real line, okay, it's because this buffer remains the same. That's an issue. Yeah, we can get rid of the buffer, yeah, right? So I don't know. Let's not initialize the buffer here. Right. Let's do it here like this. Do I need to dispose of the buffer? No. Yeah, I do need to do that. But when exactly? When we are going to return the buffer, yeah. So this doesn't work. I need to change the logic. I need to return the buffer as well. Hmm. 
think this is a problem of garbage collection no not exactly so see what is happening is when we call in it we are having a public buffer variable right and when we call a read line string new buffer no previously what we were doing is we were calling when we are calling read line we appended the new thing to the buffer already existing buffer but uh, for each new pre read line we need to have a new buffer right for each new read line Yeah, we can get rid of it, right? We can just do buffer, but what if there is no buffer? What if this is the first time I call, I am calling buffer? What that? Did mm, this guy provide any solution? Yeah, I can call dispose here. It will dispose of the old buffer. Call this pause. Mm. Let's have this inside here as well. So that when we call this pause um, for the first time, when we are calling the read line for the first time, it won't create any problem. When we call this pause. Okay, let's see if this works or not. Yay, it works, it works, it works, it works, it works, it works. Right, so with that, we can conclude that all the functions are working as they should be. All right. Yes. Yes, so everything is working as it should be.
but with wait I need to get rid of this output and just clean up this a bit let's get rid of this what else um, this do we need i um, yeah we need i You know what? Instead of having let i is equal to zero twice, you can just have it here once. And it will work. Maybe. Yeah, it will just work fine. Right. make sure that it's just still working I think it is working just fine. Can we kill it? Yes, we can. And what if I try to print it again now? It is working just fine. Then press enter J A C K. Okay, but still there's an issue. Why can't it print small <coughs> letters? Why is it printing only capital letters? I don't know why.
let's try to test so how is it possible why can't i print the capital small letters Mm -hmm. Turn on the caption and see what happens. Now, nothing is happening. It is detecting capital letters only. So, I think there is an issue with the emulator. Right. Mostly it is an issue with the emulator. Great line not printing small letter. Yeah, I cannot input small letters. Yeah, so there's an issue with the emulator. No, and this issue was reported in 2013. Oh, seven, not seven, eight years ago. And no one has fixed it yet. What the hell? This is insane. So we can rest assured that our implementation is correct so let's close everything this as well right yeah and let's commit which is that so do I have anything else open? Yep. So let's do get add dot what? Come on. all functions not the output dot check it is keyboard dot check all functions done tested and working so fully okay committed it let's let's push origin match all right then and now we have so after keyboard we need to implement string i guess uh, yeah string and sys right string and after we are done with string wait part pass string array and system okay so three modules to go now all right then this will this is it for today's stream 
we will start implementing keyboard no keyboard it's the string module in the next stream but then i will see you guys in the next stream bye bye